are what's things life that, like? There are things that have come and gone. Yeah. Um, and constantly there are you know there are changes in businesses, but I think we are having a bit of um, if you will, a movement toward getting the smaller artisan sort of businesses mm -hmm. down here because that's what works well down here. The, the large box, big box stores would not work well in this kind of situation. Right. But the artisans will. So yeah. we have a lot of new artisan shops popping up and some cute little gift shops. Of course we have the art museum, which is a wonderful draw. Which people talk about all over the state. Of course what, they do. What, what a great art museum you have. Yes. Yeah. And it's right downtown West Bend. It is. So it on the other side here. of those buildings. Right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> right there. Yeah. And it's a destination spot it for is. people from all over. Yeah, which is great for businesses around it, it as well. It is. Yeah. Um, what's going to happen with this? Like, what's what's your hope for this um, soap business? What would you love to do? What would I love to do? Oh my. Well, I would love to see it grow a little bit more. I would love to write a book. Um, I would love. I've had kind of ideas for making a children's book. Mm -hmm. I have to do a soap because there are children out there. Um, I. <laughs> So Hard. why not? Yeah. Um, and I would like to perhaps um, do something like this, maybe in one more place, like Stockholm. Mm -hmm. um, often when we are doing events in Atlanta or Chicago or wherever we are at, I will answer the phone if someone calls me and say Century Farmhouse Chicago or Century Farmhouse New York or wherever I am. And it is just kind of a fun thing. It'd be nice to actually, I have a lot of customers in various pockets in the country, and it would be nice to actually do something like that there. Yeah. 